expect more. Well, we did see a beautiful day today with a lot of sunshine. Temperatures very near normal, actually. We topped out about 59 to 60 degrees. We should be about 60 for this time of the year. Mostly clear skies will continue for tonight and into tomorrow. However, late tomorrow night, probably after midnight, that's when we're going to see some showers and possibly some isolated thunderstorms. We could hear some rumbles of thunder moving through the morning hours on Tuesday and as we're continuing into the afternoon and evening hours on Tuesday. And this is actually going to be a trend this week. So definitely take your umbrella on your way to work and school. So exactly how much rainfall are we expected? Well, right now the models are only going through about 10 a.m. on Tuesday. Uh, some heavier amounts expected throughout the week. So we're going to see Prior to Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we're going to see some rain. The heaviest activity is going to be along I-70 into central portions of Missouri as well as Kansas. But we are still expected to pick up a good inch, inch and a half, possibly a little bit more, especially in the southern portions of our viewing area, which is great news because we definitely need the rain. Temperatures right now 40 degrees at the Kirksville Regional Airport. Winds are light out of the south-southwest at 6 miles per hour. Dew point 27 and relative humidity levels at 60 percent. Ottumwa coming in 44 degrees with mostly clear skies. Winds are out of the south at 8. Relative humidity levels at 51 percent and dew point 27. 37 in Macon. However, everyone else is in the 40s. 46 in Fairfield and Centerville coming in at 42 degrees. For tonight, we woke up on the very chilly side into the 20s. For tonight, 35 degrees as your overnight low with light winds remaining with mostly clear skies. Now, we are watching a couple systems moving in. One is into the Pacific Northwest, actually bringing snow into the northern Rockies and the northern plains. But look at all this warmer air associated with moving up from the south, a lot of moisture, and this is all in the form of rain. And that's going to continue to push through. And then we do have another system brewing off to the southwest, and that's going to continue to push in. So we're not going to see any severe weather. The severe weather potential is going to be to the south, uh, but we could hear some rumbles of thunder over the next few days as we're heading into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Highs for tomorrow around 61 degrees with a mix of sun and clouds, northeast winds, 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for tomorrow night, that's when the rain moves in after midnight. Very mild, actually, 43 degrees. East winds, 5 to 15 miles per hour. And here comes a wet system moving through Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, all with rain. 70% chance of rain with rumbles of thunder on Tuesday, 55 degrees, 51 Tuesday night. Wednesday, 64, 60 degrees on Thursday. Friday, 55 degrees and rain moves out with mostly sunny skies. Of course, you can get your forecast 24-7 at heartlandconnection.com. So again, some much needed rain that's going to move in Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And it looks like some decent amounts. So that is always good. Yeah, so I guess tomorrow's our last day to enjoy that sunshine. But Enjoy like the said, sunshine tomorrow because rain is coming. Yeah, we do need it, though. We do. Thanks, definitely. Teresa. You're welcome. All right.